Greetings and welcome back, everyone, to From the Depths, Allies Adrift. It has been a little while, a little while longer on my channel than on Enter Elysium. Say hello, Enter Elysium. Hello. Well done. You avoided the obvious trap of saying hello, Enter Elysium. And uh, unfortunately, as some of you may have noticed, uh, EE had one more upload on his channel than I did because, unfortunately, uh, my footage was lost. There was some recording shenanigans uh, afoot, but uh, you didn't really For lose shame. out on too much. It was I just mostly built a building this episode. laser system. Yes, it, yeah. it was just a, a building episode, so uh, we decided it, it wasn't too much of a worry. But to quickly go over what I did in that episode, EE -E, um, finished off some work on some cannons, and together we built this gigantic cannon. Or oh, rather, oh, people on your I channel haven't seen things. it being fired. Oh, no, indeed they haven't. Give a demonstration. There we go. It is quite a beautiful beast of a cannon. It takes a long time to reload, though, as you may have just noticed. And for my contribution, I started work on a laser system. As you can see, fairly high powered. Very, very much power. Oh, dear. Oh dear now, that oh dear. is feeding down under here, running along. At the front, we have an actual combat laser it's going to be a, a spine mount it's not turreted in any way it's going to be able to laser things directly in front of it on the sides it feeds over here and these will be used to have anti-missile defenses running along these uh the fins on either side but also underneath you'll notice this uh cross section that is going to hook up to a Vertical laser, again, a static, non-turreted laser that will be designed for taking out flyers that uh, manage to get overhead. Because that was fairly effective on the Nautilus, so... Yes, very effective. The only issue with the Nautilus is because it tends to sail so deep, the lasers will lose mm. a lot of power, whereas this is not going to suffer from that. So the lasers are going to be full-powered when they hit the flyers. Right then, EE, what are we going to be working on today? I think I'm going to do some custom uh, jet engines in the... the, the side sponsoon type I don't know okay yeah them. yeah we've got uh we've got these uh conspicuous cavities at the back there that you can build those into mm. um, i'm gonna have to try and make sure it's the correct height so it's above the water line etc but yeah. uh, it should be yeah. fine um that shouldn't take too long and then the question is really gonna be um uh, really how can we finish it off um, there needs to be these mid guns we have got two spaces here that each are going to have a small turret i think we we're planning uh yes yes these were going to have I, I, they were going to be more like mortar, fast firing, but like mortar uh, guns. So a very short, stubby barrel, uh, not obviously not like a Gatling gun, like the like the front cannon, and certainly not as powerful as this gigantic behemoth of a cannon at the back. But uh, they will do close range dacker because the main cannon is really, really too slow firing for it to ever really be useful in in an actual brawl. That's know, for that, killing things still, before you get close. It's pretty good. It's oh, it is good, but it fires very slowly. Yes, the explosion would be glorious, but if it doesn't disable all of the weapons on the enemy ship, by the time that it fires again, it's not going to be there. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. you know, something like this hitting... For example, even my outdated avatar would tear this thing apart because that gun is not going to kill it enough with one shot. The benefit of that gun is that I have put a inertial uh, fuse in the shell. So if it hits a shield, it'll explode and a lot of the damage will go through yeah. the shield. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But again, if there's any redundancy on the vehicle, mm. um, for example, if you imagine Onyx Watch, that would not kill one of their ships. It probably wouldn't knock out most of its weapon systems either. Yeah. I mean, so, what's the penetration on this? Um, uh, let's have a quick look. Five. I forget. It's not going to, yeah, <laughs> it would do very little to something like the Onyx Watch. Yeah, I mean, it would, it would right. certainly take off quite a few bits of armor, but it wouldn't be able to get through until we're like three shells in. Yeah. Right, I'm going to start work on the AA lasers. I need to put down the mirror line here. We're probably going to be another building episode. I'm sure no one really minds, but if you do, if you are the sort of person who doesn't like these pictures, particular episodes take heart because we're about to be attacked so we're only gonna have a short amount of time to build yeah that's an air wing we want right now in closing okay. on position and what we have is some damaged planes so 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's, this is probably going to be a bit rough for us. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, when's it not, up? to be honest, at the moment? This is why we're that building this That is a ship. good point. That is a very, very good point. Surprising from someone like you. Th- wow. Wow. <laughs> you know I'm joking. I don't know mostly. anymore, man. Mostly. I'm, jo- I'm mostly joking. <laughs> okay, that's way too tall. Uh, we could just have these as steering object optics and not allow it to be particularly um, accurate. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Whatever you think. My there we go. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, poor it's fine. E. There we go. I built the uh, top facing lasers. I think that'll be enough to take most things down. Oh. Uh, the Kraken is apparently fighting for something. Would oh you like God. to view this fleet, the Kraken, yes. on your map and consider starting a battle with your enemies? Iron Rain. Yes, yes I would. Oh dear. We got attacked. Oh, they just came out of nowhere. Yeah. They're, well, they're fighting one of, the, one of our Nautili, the Kraken. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> and the Leviathan is there as well. You're not going to win. I'm just going to okay. grab the arachnid and tell the arachnid to go home and get repaired because. Okay. It's... I'm just going to go ahead and have uh, the kraken have this fight. Should the kraken do it on his own? I think it probably should. Yeah, probably fine. I'll pull it back though. Uh, let me just make sure. I'm going to give it the best depth area I can. For the looks of it, that is it. And okay, we should be able to fight. Uh, I'm going to jump over to the kraken. Tonk. It's against. Flyers, so it's going to be a bit of an interesting one, honestly. Ah, uh, all the missiles away! All of the torpedoes also away! Oh, with we're fighting like one out of many of them. Oh, with the battle on very small. Drat, can you adjust that mid battle? No, really? I don't think so. I gotta say, I like the look of that bomber, but it is gone. There we go. I should be telling them to all join in. Oh yeah, it's actually worked. I didn't think you could. Well done. They're, yep, they're, all of those, they're dead. Those yeah. bombers aren't going to stand a chance. No. The Kraken is far, far too dangerous. Although it would be nice if the missiles could choose who they're trying to attack. <laughs> oh, they collided. They collided. Oh, oh, beautiful. I almost feel sorry for them. I don't. No. I'm pretty happy with this, honestly. Oh, uh, are these missiles lure guided? I have no idea. I don't believe so. Yeah, because they all seem to be choosing different targets, and that's like a feature of the lure missiles that I had. I'll have a look. I don't think they are. I don't believe they're lure guided. No. Connection. So much death. Well, that was that was a good battle. We yeah. did promise there'd be a battle. There's going to be another battle, though. But yeah. That one's going down into the drink with it. Are loads of torpedoes on their way. Oh, it's dropping bombs. It was, oh, really? Are you sure? We have one of them just dropped bombs on us. Oh, yeah. Uh, Anti-missile missiles took them out. <laughs> Here we oh. go. Bombers have landed in the drink just as torpedoes come along to finish them off. Oh, and that, that one fun. got hit in the ass with a whole load of... Yep, that's gone as well. Well, there we are. Well, Not a bad little, little fight. The Kraken still still got it. Well done, Kraken. Yeah. It's got its mojo. Indeed. Just as well we didn't bring the Leviathan into this fight, honestly. <laughs> that would be the definition of overkill. All the AI's dead because it just got pummeled by dozens of EM torpedoes. Okay. No. Explosions. Death. Destruction. Glory. I, I gotta give it to them, right? They were plucky and they looked pretty cool. They did actually look really good. <laughs> like could be perfect. Tiny B2s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's pull you out. Uh, pull these forces out of play. There we are. Now let's head back down. To us. Which is. About there. No, no. There we go. Vehicle. Dunk. Ah, I'm falling! No! Ah! 
Stopped falling. God damn it. Did you did you not stop falling? Interestingly, it is sitting in the water now. Uh because the the thing with the <laughs> it hasn't loaded in, has it? Yeah. I I it's hard because there's two structures and I keep forgetting that. I think. <laughs> no, Ah. Spy pylon is what I spawned in, but I didn't spawn in. Whatever it's called. I actually don't even know. No, it's called vehicle. That's why. There's two called vehicle there. I, th right. I don't even know anymore. I, don't do, so I can't see because they're like overlaying each other. Uh, I'm not going to help you. I am busy. Okay. I think we need the... I think it would be reasonable to set up the weapon control systems now. Sure. I'm going to need one of these. That said, we still don't have the last gun. We do not, no. But I need to set up the, the, the weapon controls for the lasers now, I think. Okay. I can't remember whether it's the extra combustor or the jet fuel injector that I want on the engine. One of them does nothing and one of them is really important. Uh. <laughs> that's that's uh, not a good position to be in, honestly. Yeah. It's like, ah, I can't remember. I know one is super, super important. So either we're going to get like very little thrust or we're going to get crazy thrust. So just to check for these mortars, mm -hmm. they just need to be throwing like big shells. Yeah, I, I would say so. But nothing particularly fancy about the shells. Yeah. I mean, you can make them make them chunky in terms of explosives, perhaps. I I don't really think it matters too much. With the uh, can the mortar cannons, do you really want tri barreled? Could we not go for single barrel, short stubby, multiple, you know, frequent um, fire? Yeah, the problem is, it, okay, basically fire rate is dependent on the bigger the shell, the slower it is. You mm -hmm. can speed it up by making multiple barrels which decrease the shell size yeah. or by putting like a lot of cooling gauges on the problem is that doing the cooling gauges you need a bit of space like the Gatnik at the front that's yeah. sped up with cooling gauges and barrels yeah so that's that's the issue on that one whereas this I was just like well you know if we want okay. fast firing no, that, this is still fun. a 10.6 centimeter projectile that should be alright it's respectable. It's right, not let's check on the map. Big. Where are our enemies? They're actually pretty close at this point. Again, very close. I think we need this vessel to be in the fight, honestly, at this point. What? Yeah. It's, it's got guess, the most firepower here. If it gets hit, you do realize that entire back um, section is just going to disappear. Yeah, but we can easily repair it. Yeah. Uh, what I will do is... Quickly, quickly, if I can, I'm going to pop down some AA for the lasers. So, dunk. I'm going to check that all the, like, bombers and stuff are repaired. Yeah. Best thing you could do right now. Because they aren't. That is not good. No. I'm going to set this transmitter on channel 4. This is going to be the channel for our anti-missile warners. They have channels. Connector. What was that? Anti-missile warners have channels? Well, yeah, if you're going to build them with a central AI, you create a receiver and then connect it up. I thought missile warners just warned in general everything. No, you have to have it connected to an AI for it to actually... Oh, yeah, but then I didn't know you had to link the AI to anything after that. I know you, you don't need to do that. The AI oh, okay. is just at the back of the boat, but I'm linking up each missile warner to the AI because they're, they're built around oh. the boat rather than with an AI each. Oh, okay, because I, I always do the AI each thing because it's just a block, so. Yeah, but it gets really frustrating when you're then trying to manage the AIs. That's true. When it's like, I have a billion AIs. Yeah. Quick, I need to turn them all off. Exactly. That the, that is the problem. I used to do it that way, but I wish since you could. I started them. work on the temple ship. There's like no way can I afford to do yeah. that. I'll have eighty thousand AI. You should be able to like nest them and group them into folders and then just select all in folder. That would actually be remarkably useful. Like if you could just say all on ship, off. 
Yeah. That would genuinely be amazing. Like, it should be all on ship, and then for each, maybe, turret or something, and then you can make the custom folders and just drag and drop. There we go, Nick. That's that's your uh, development tips for today. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I've got a, a bunch of missile warners set up on each... Um, I really take this fight, oh, because wait, I don't think then... I want to fight them any closer. Yeah, okay. Engage the fight. Engaging. Okay, so what are we having in this? We need our ship. So that needs to be in as well. I'm hoping that it is actually the vehicle that's joining us. Because if we've just brought in the repair tentacles, that's going to be really nice. <laughs> I'm bringing the Stratostorm because I... Oh, God, where's the Stratostorm? There we go. Because cause we captured it, and I, I can't remember what it is, and I want it to fight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Okay. Great excuse. We ready? And is the vehicle going to engage by itself? Is the AI set up? Yeah. Even for the big cannon? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm That's, I'm that's what I was doing. Go. I was making sure the AIs were set. I'm definitely going to be sitting on that when the battle begins. I'll die, <laughs> we but I want to watch it. There we go. Dunk. Right, make sure you're controlling nothing. Yeah, I'm controlling five. There we go. Kaboom! It's trying to snipe them with this gigantic yeah. cannon. It's trying to kill air vehicles with that. I mean, I if know, it hits it's one. Not, it's going for a ship. Oh, there's a ship there, yeah. Yep, and the shell may actually hit it. Kapow! Oh my god. What a fantastic shot. Another shot coming in. Oh, that one missed. Bit of shame, that. The Stratos is drawing their attention. And they're shooting down their missiles. Oh, I remember that. It was a pain in the yeah. ass to actually hit. <laughs> yes. And we now have it fighting for us. Glorious. <laughs> I'm still waiting to see any more incoming shells. I just can't see any right now. Well, oh, we've killed a helicopter. Yeah, we have. Oh, this was the thing that I had to ram to kill it. I remember now. Yep, that's right. It's launching some missiles out. Ooh! Oh, just Repair. shy of that shell. Oh, bad luck. It's because their ship's starting to move. Yeah. It's trying to shoot down all of the missiles that are coming its way. Because it looks like the Thunderbirds just will not take off. Whatever, whatever has changed since those were made, it's completely broken them. Like, completely. Yeah, they're just refusing to... Like, if you manually take control of them, they, they get out of the water. So they're still okay. You just have to manually take control on. Don't know why that is. Like, they initially worked. Oh, the Stratos is like, ha, <laughs> missiles? No. I refuse. But then they're like, ha, <laughs> missiles? No. So it's going to be a very long fight. Yeah. Especially because they've got repair capabilities. I think okay, I'm going to go to take control of one of the... Actually hitting this from that range which doesn't look like it's going to do I'm taking control of one of the vehicles I can see those shells coming I can also see the uh, distortion from that cannon actually firing, it's glorious ok, I'm on my way ok best of luck thank you What, their one? Yeah. They're using continuous wave lasers as well. Really? And it's working for them? Yeah, it's working really well. Okay, I've killed oh, the little helicopter. They've got a lot of lasers inside this thing. This thing is pretty much just lasers. Ow. Inside of that, that ship is just lasers. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it's an anti-airship rather than anything else. Yeah. Just to defend. More or less. I don't think lasers are going to hit this thing. Uh, my missiles might. They're very, very fast, but I'd have to find them close. Other than that, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, it's taken out all of your missile AA. Okay, I'm going to probably just and leave the... And it's popping the missiles. Yeah, all the, all the missiles are gone. 
No, don't fly into the ocean. I hate the aerial AI in this game so much. Uh, right down there? Yeah, okay. I exploded. You exploded. Well, that does suck, to be fair. You've launched many, many lasers. Um, I'm not doing this, but we're ramming them. I think you should have taken that option, honestly. If you want, they're a stationary target. I can't yeah. ram them. What, what ship are you on? I can see from the damage thing. Yeah, um, the, the one of the bombers, I can't remember which. Okay. Okay, no, I'm on the wrong one. Okay, I think I'm out an engine, this so one? it's going to be difficult to fly, but I will try and ram them as soon as I get the opportunity. This one? Okay. I'm going to jump out the next chance I get. And start capturing? Yeah, if you can get me over it. Like, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm out of an engine, so I'm just circling right now, but, uh... It's okay. It was, next time we circle a little bit closer. Oh, my lord. Oh, oh I, I feel uh, motion sickness now. Not that right, time. you can jump now. Jump! Ah! Wow, I am actually right over the top of it. Well Same. Done. I may have practiced that mover. <laughs> Incoming! Splat! Hi. Okay. First thing to do. I've no idea where you are. I cannot see you. I'm at the front. Oh, hi. Kill the anti-missiles. Take out their ability to stop our weapons from damaging it. I don't know. We could just capture them. Um, yeah, we could do. I say as I continue shooting this thing. I'm just going to take the ones at the front off. I want this to be a little bit fun. There we go. I'm good. Come here. Right, let's try and take out its uh, Come missile here. system. Wait. Why? Not control? Kind of. How? How bizarre. What? How do you have control? It was just giving me control. Uh, that. Ouch, ouch. You're shooting me. Ouch. Sorry. Couldn't see uh, you. I'm almost dead. You reckless fool! Like, I'm literally shooting through something that's still solid for me, so I don't know how to hit you. I did, and it hurt. I'm recovering, slowly. Okay. Uh, okay, I've found my way into some of the inner... Oh, I Elysium. Something is. Uh, I don't trust you with that gap. I can't get out of here. This is dead. Yeah, you really shouldn't be close to me. I really don't trust... Ah. I was murdered. I was slain. It was our uh, one of our flying things. Yeah, I suppose I imagine so. I'm probably gonna be way off from you now. I'm just taking control of one of the uh, the bombers and just gonna fly back over. Okay, I've overshot to the tad. A tad? Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. launching a lot of. No, smoke. I got killed by my own grenade. Really? Yeah, it. Glad it was your grenade and not mine, because I shot it just before you said, No, I got killed! Like, it exploded in the middle of the ocean right in front of me, so I was like, Yeah, that's lag. It happens. I'm gonna try and dig my way in through the front. The annoying thing is it's repairing itself. Yeah, so I know. I'm trying to take out his engines, I was getting fast. very peeved. It is repairing amazingly well. I've just blown the window out on the Stratostorm. Trying to get my way out. Well, probably the best thing to do, honestly. The problem is, it keeps. I keep repairing it way too fast. And now I've injured myself. Okay, I'm gonna go back to. Thunderbust, and I'm gonna try and dig my way through. That is actually never gonna get through. How can I get into you? Show me what how. Love I want you to show me. Ah! Okay, you're repairing things. Okay, I'm just standing on the top of the Stratostorm, like okay. a boss. Very well. What other bossly things are you about to do? I'm going to parachute down. Okay, that is definitely a bossly thing. Ah! Instead, it just kicked Screaming. me off. Like that is not bossly. No, no it's not. Also, I can't bloody aim with this thing. I'm... Aha! Around all the time. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, I didn't like that. Please don't blow me up. Brace, brace, brace. I can't brace. Ah, I'm, I'm being repaired onto. I think I clipped it with my wing. Very annoying. Ah, no, it's try. Ah, danger, real Robinson, danger. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back to the minigun. This is probably gonna kill me, but... Ah! It's getting hit by missiles! I know. Oh, I did die. I think the missiles took me out, but uh, yeah, I, I took out its ability to move. I done quite a lot of damage internally. I went for its engine, and I just took out the engine block, so... I wouldn't be surprised if, the, uh, if our... Its AI is dead. We're killing it now. Is anyone on it? I'm close. I'm trying to get that. I don't Come think I will. On. Come on. I was on it. Ah, oh, so such a shame. Did we get it? I don't think we did. did I we? don't think we did. Poo! <sighs> it's all there is to say. Oh well. Well, that's a good place to end the episode. Quite a lot of fighting. We didn't think there'd be fighting. I know, I wasn't expecting fighting like that, but it did take a long time just trying to get that thing. Okay, oh, well, gosh. thank you very much for joining us. Bit of a longer episode than usual, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it all the same. And we'll be joining us in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care. And stay shiny.